There's no forest here, there's just a bunch of trees. Howdy folks, Scruck the Duck Farmer here, and I'm doing a little Engineers Forest 3, hanging out here, sitting in my chair, doing all sorts of fun things, and it's time to do stuff. It's time for me to get out of my chair and get rid of these butterflies. Yep, I'm, I'm not sure why these guys are coming around with forestry, because uh, for forestry, for these butterflies, you need forestry trees, and this is not a forestry tree, unless Binny's Extra Trees makes it think it is, because uh, I've got those, oh, whoa, man, these soggy gardens have spread like crazy. Uh, I've got a regular vanilla Minecraft tree, and over here, uh, another one of these Binny um, extra trees, as well as this over here with uh, the, the cranberries. I think this is the cranberry. So maybe those are close enough that they are being seen as... When, when you have a forestry tree and a vanilla tree or forestry trees together, the, you can get those butterflies. And I've killed dozens of them. Tons and tons. Uh, stuff that I've done. I uh, started a little bit of uh, Botania just because I wanted... A ring. I wanted uh, the, the ring of magnetization. It was pretty easy. Um, I tossed two pieces of uh, two blocks of charcoal or coal here, and that was sufficient to do the eight um, the, 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 the let's see or, uh, the eight mana steel ingots. So four there in this one. You need another four around a, a pane or a please glass. And unfortunately, it didn't like any of the dyed glass which I had plenty of, but anyway, all, all I needed was the, the, the ring of magnetization, and I had to update the version of Botania in the pack just so that it it worked, <laughs> because there was a known bug with the, the previous build that uh, when you tried to drop stuff off, it just disappeared. It was gone, and sometimes you would crash, which was not much fun at all. This, uh, I was having a hard time getting these guys separated from each other, and it was suggested that if you uh, right-click the center, oh, shift right-click the center, you can change the colors of these things. And then that way you can have them be separate from each other. So it's blue, black, blue, black, blue, black. Yeah, and it's, it keeps them completely separate, and that's exactly what I wanted. So huzzah for the people that suggested that. Uh, everything has been upgraded with uh, all the speeds here to make things going. Uh, this is the top tier energy cube, the ultimate, so you can see it's uh, 5 million, let's see, 1, 3, uh, 51 million, I, I, too many things without a comma in there, and likewise another one down there that's gaining power. So that's going on there. Uh, over here I got a little elevator, and this is a little room, I, I didn't want to go too close because there's too many things around, this gives me access down here if I want it. Uh, I'm thinking I may put some um, AE2 stuff down here just to kind of get it out of the way uh, so I can do processing up here and then maybe have expo exposed in the floor access to the, the items. But if we go further down, oh yeah, no more ladders. We can go, you know, sit around it. And if we go a little bit further down, I knocked out this area below. Uh, full, full chunk so I could get some processing of the the chickens going on in here because these guys uh, are all 10 10 tens and as you can see they're producing gobs of stuff which is fantastic and I, I don't even have very many of them in here uh, just for these two guys I just have the one so they're very slowly um, adding stuff and I put some void upgrades on here just because I don't care I got plenty of sand and, and logs I'm good uh, yeah I'm doing eight instead of 16 in these just because I don't need that much stuff, because, you know, I've got stacks and stacks, so it works really well. Uh, this over here are some of the other chickens that I've got. I uh, just barely did the gunpowder chicken, and it probably won't make that many, because I'm not sure how much gunpowder I need. I made it because I can breed this for other stuff. So if we take a look at the breeding, I can make water chickens and sulfur chickens, but the water chickens are useful for several other breeds that that are needed through there. Unfortunately, um, a lot of these need the nether quartz chicken, and it's found in the nether. 
and I've yet to find it in the nether. So if, if anybody has found that in the nether, um, please let me know which uh, biome you found it in because I am, I've, I've spent probably half an hour in the, the, the void world just going around creatively through the nether looking for those, haven't found it at all in any of the, the biomes. So it's either an extremely rare or possibly broken chicken <laughs> and I need it for so much. Uh, string chicken, just barely uh, bred that up and uh, this is the graphite chicken so you know when I get extreme reactors I'll have plenty of graphite and in fact I'm actually upgrading these so oh hey the graphite's five seven six five seven six um, this one's four so let's upgrade that give it uh, some more seeds what's this one seven ten six okay so that's going pretty good uh, let's up switch that one more seeds so that's what I've been doing is just working my way through but so many of the resources that I really want are blocked because I don't have the nether chicken mm. so I'm gonna go ahead and and have to do some of that oh uh, this back here I'm just using these mechanism pipes to, to move the stuff and you can see the the, the chickens as, as they produce items they come flying out they're going into the door con drawer controller and so I can just keep adding on more drawers here and expanding this and I left it a little bit exposed here so I can drop a cable down uh, so my ME network can connect to that and access all of these when that's a thing and then I'm ready to sit here and make more roosts and, and whatnots. so let's hop up here let's uh, turn these guys into food because I don't need them anymore. And let's jump into the nether real quick. The, the first time I went into the nether, I was really confused because I popped out and I looked at this and I went, oh crap, there's nothing in the nether. <laughs> there's not a thing in the nether. And I didn't even see any of these mobs over here. Not a, not a thing. Oh, hey, let's center in. There we go. Uh, I didn't see any um, mobs around me at all when I first started, and I was going, there's nothing here in the nether. And it had spawned with this area here available, and this little area here, and then I hammered out a little bit of space, started mining up that way, and went, there's nothing. So I said, well, let's come back over this way, uh, looking at the, the y-axis, I'm on 70, and 70 is a good amount. So I just went and went and went and went, and there's nothing out here. It is the weirdest thing. Uh, I was excited when I saw this because then I realized, aha, there is actually other stuff here, this little cave system, and but nothing, nothing. We got the overgrown, it's the lively netherrack. Lots and lots of different netherrack from uh, Nether X. And finally, broke through here and went, ah, okay, so there is something out here which makes me feel much better. But I, I am very hesitant to just come right out because there's some pretty nasty stuff out here, not to mention the stinking quiet um, char creepers from the nether, which I don't like at all because they're so sneaky. There are blazes that are the juggernaut blazes, something like that. Think blazes that don't fire, but they come rushing on you and they have huge armor. They have killed me twice here in the nether, and I dislike them, uh, all of them. Uh, some pigmen over there, uh, but, you know, scary. And so one of the things, even with my armor, it was like two, three hits, and boom, dead. <laughs> so I was going, ah, it's not good. So I'm thinking, let's just recall home. Uh, I'm thinking what I will probably do is look at making the uh, jetpack from mechanism so I have a way of getting up into the air so that I can avoid some of them when they come around. And man, oh man, you guys are like everywhere. Go away. I, I, I broke my Paxel. I've been uh, chopping these guys up so much and uh, doing a little bit of uh, digging so my, uh, my steel Paxel is no more. All right, I'm going to sleep this and uh, do a little bit more breeding and um, see if I can get the jetpack going. So jetpacks um, are not all that difficult to make. Uh, in this case, uh, we need a, a tank, which is just the osmium, I was going to say obsidian, no, osmium and redstone, um, some tin, steel, and a circuit 
which you know I, I, I wouldn't go with the industrial craft circuit because I can make these ones. They're much faster with the mechanism. And uh, they're really easy to, to, to get, but then you got to, well, you want to armor them. You don't want to sit there and run around without any armor. Uh, for that, some ground up diamonds, some bronze steel, and you just plop the jetpack in there. And, you know, you sit there and pull out your armor jetpack, and yay! Uh, over here, I set up a, an electrolytic separator, and the oxygen side is set up to dump all the excess oxygen, because don't care about the oxygen. Uh, but the hydrogen side of things, um, that is, is going like crazy. And that's going into this elite gas tank that is all full. And I should be able to drop him in here. Oh, yes. And it's storing the hydrogen in there, which is great. Uh, we've got the advanced mechanical pipe, the second tier water pipe, because it, when this is going full tilt, that couldn't keep up. And I still think, uh, do I have uh, energy speed? No, I've got all of them in here. Uh, I was watching this go down. Oh, that was because this is the advanced mechanical pipe. And then for my water source, I'm using the sink from Cooking for Blockheads because it's a nice single block, and I didn't see any in the pack. There's probably some there, but I didn't see any. I said that was cheap and easy to make. It was just some some um, three iron, uh, a water bucket. So that's another three iron. That's four iron, uh, six iron, and then five terracotta. Easy, easy, easy. So, uh, this will go ahead and give me a flight, a very clumsy, not very fast flight, but it, it'll definitely work, uh, which, is, which is handy. And uh, while that's filling up, let's go downstairs, because expanded out stuff here. These are the chickens that I'm not going to use gobs of, and the, the stuff over here that's, you know, compacting down that I'll, I'll use lots. And one of them here, this guy here, four of the lapis blue. Um, 10 10 tens and uh, they're getting me lapis which is very handy um, I may drop that number some but you know for right now that's working and right now oh, oh, oh got one okay so I took the red and made some yellow you can see a bunch of the tall mystical yellow flowers to make yellow and bred those together and got two orange chickens and uh, so with those and log this gets me a rubber chicken so a uh, rubber chicken will go ahead and provide for me the little bit of, of rubber that I need for occasional builds of things. Like, uh, for example, let's see, uh, me. compacting drawers from storage drawers. I love those, but they need rubber or plastic. Well, I, I haven't done any of the plastic from industrial foregoing, but I have been doing the, the rubber, and now this guy will make me rubber. So that will definitely help. Uh, the other thing that, uh, hurry up, read me another one, uh, bred up a snowball chicken, which is just lapis blue, which I got over there, and log, and snowball plus sand will get me, eventually, because <laughs> it's not so far in like 10 breeds, uh, will eventually get me a clay chicken, which will be handy to have, but uh, I'm, I'm sitting here going, ah, you know, my food. I keep running out of food and going, you know, I would like something better. Oh, that's, it's, it's over in here. You know, I would like something that would work better than what I currently have. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's working. And then H key is my hover key. And then H disables and then regular. Okay, so that will definitely, oh, here, let's take this off. That hardly used any hydrogen. So it's a pretty good amount of um, flight available for that. And uh, I like the model. You, you can see it on the, the front. You can see it on the back. It's a, it's a pretty cool uh, model for, for that. All right, so now I, I can travel through the... Going through uh, the nether and not be so worried about that. But uh, one of the things that I do want to do... Uh, you know, I've been sick and tired of dealing with the the food hey isn't that supposed to make me a bottle all right let me, let me see bottle what's the super secret recipe for making a bottle yeah no black lyric no nope, nope. water bottle glass bottle oh i need a button in this pack oh, okay well that you know, fine uh let's go ahead and make a button i can do that i hadn't even looked at that so 
uh, put one of those there, that there, and that gets me a syringe. Use this to extract essence from mobs. Well, let's go hunt a mob. It's, oh, dang it, it's daytime. Do we have any burning mobs running around? I don't see any. Got a skeleton over there, but that's not what I'm looking for. Darn. Okay, well, that means I don't have what I'm looking for. Fortunately, though, I happen to have a uh, an area over here that may have plenty of mobs. And you may be asking, Grok, why are you wanting to use a syringe on a mob? And that's a very good question. This is the part where you ask the question. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do, uh, you know, I have not actually been down here. Oh, hey. Oh, perfect. Per whoa, 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 creeper. Go away. Alright, what I'm looking for is a zombie. Do we have any zombie? Yes, 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 yes. Now, is this a right click or a left click? Ah, it's a right click. Oh, you fell off. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I, I want the zombie. I do not. Oh, 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 crap. Dang it. Oh, this is gonna be. <laughs> It's right there. That's where I died, but there's nothing here, so I really hope it went up. Because <laughs> uh, that would be really bad to have lost everything. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, but I don't have a uh, magnet on me. Will I get everything? I got some things. Something spit over here. All right, uh, there's a pick. All right, there's my magnet. Is everything else? All right. So, uh, while I was uh, rudely interrupted by creepers, let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, you can see that it's got uh, essence level of 10%. I need more essence from these guys. So let's organize this up a little bit. Uh, probably don't need, let's go around the other way. Uh, probably don't need to, oh, can I go through there? I can. Okay, cool. Uh, I probably don't need the, what was I thinking about needing, um, the, the hover? No, I don't think I need the, um, to worry about my jetpack. Yes, that's the word, that's the word. Okay, uh, that's a, z not what I want, skeleton. Uh, there's something, oh yeah, why is there lights down there? Oh, oh yes, that's, I got, got that way from a cave I found. So let's uh, turn on some lights here. Right, let's do my standard. Let's be careful. Light everything up. Check for bad spawny areas around here. Um, this is a zombie spawner. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Uh, yeah, I harvested all that. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, see if he will spawn one over there. Yes, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and throw a light down so we don't get more. And I think, yeah, this was left click. So you can see the little red is, is going up. I need 100% of this syringe. And I think that's 100%, so we'll kill him now. Got you. Got you. There we go. All right. Perfect. And I've got someplace a single uh, drop of evil so I could harvest this if I wanted to but I really don't uh, so uh, the question is why do I want this stinking butterflies uh, why do I want this syringe well what can I use with this syringe that's a good question let's take a look with the syringe I can do a feather falling well that's got to be a chicken level mob uh, what I'm looking for is this one saturation because that way I can not have to worry about food when I'm at my base because I think that would be very very nice uh, let's see I remember there was a gold in there that was there uh, two redstone and I can't remember what was at the bottom oh ink okay well I've got ink upstairs I've got ink downstairs too that's good I got lots of ink and this is where my redstone is 
So let's go ahead and set that up. You go there, and you go there, and you go there, and you guys go there. There's the saturation module, and you can see a saturation bonus when used in the environmental controller, and it uses that teeny tiny amount of RF per tick per cubic block. Well, that tells me I don't need a super huge amount of space taken up. Uh, speaking of space taken up, I need to have that into an environmental controller. So for that, I need ender pearls and then block of emerald, block of iron, block of diamond, block of gold. Well, let's see. Uh, we need some gold. I can click right. Yes. Uh, and then we need a block of diamond and emeralds. I had uh, gone out and uh, harvested some of that. And iron. Block of iron. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and make those. I do admit occasionally getting kind of weirded out with these textures, but I really like the looks of these blocks. They they definitely have some, some nice shadowing on them. Those textures there look fantastic. Uh, here, let me see what looks. I, mean, I don't really see a, a major difference with that, but uh, those, look, those look very, very, very nice. Um, oh, machine frame. Ooh, this is different. Okay, some blue lapis downstairs. Uh, redstone and electrum. Electrum. Do I have any electrum? I would have made them over there. Oh, I need some pearls. I need four of these. And let's come back into here. Let's go down because I need some lapis. Two of those. And let's go up. And I made some electrum. Oh no, I made bronze. Okay. Did I make? I thought made. You know, I can't remember. Did I make any electrum? Uh, survey says no. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and snag some silver and we'll make some quick electrum because I need it. All right, let's toss that into here. That should give me two blocks, which is everything I need while that is doing its thing. Let me get the four bits of redstone. Is that four? It was four. Perfect. Zip. Okay, silver has been done. There's the gold. There's the electrum. All right, so there's one ingot and two ingots. Okay, so you, half goes there, half goes there. There's my electrums. They go there and there. So that and that. And it was iron and... Uh, got the so I'm missing the iron. Okay, I've got everything else, but I've got iron over here. All right, let's make this thing. So iron, 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 iron. That, that, and my two lapis. There's my machine frame. Uh, those go in the corner. Now comes the question of, can I remember the order? I think emerald was at the bottom, diamond was the top, gold to the left, iron. Ta-da, I could remember, that's amazing. So environmental controller, uh, controls the environment around you with various modules. There, these, there are modules for things like regeneration, speed, and saturation. So let's make that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here for a reason. Let's put that there and you can see it's charging right up. Perfect. This is gonna do an area, a radius of 50 between the Y levels of 30 and 70 which is a huge area. That's not what I'm looking for. I want a radius of, oh, five. That's pretty slim, but that's okay. We'll, we'll go with five. And I want, let's see, the Y level is 67. So if this block, well, let's see, F3, looking at, uh, yeah, looking at 67. Okay, so that's what I'm looking, that's 67. So let's do a height of 67. 67. Come on. All right, and let's put this saturation module right there. And if I stand right here, it should work. 
Oh, yep. It's, it's hard to see right in the corner where I'm looking at stuff. There's saturation. And down at the bottom, I am fully saturated. So within a radius of five of this, which uh, one, two, three, four, five, as long as I'm kind of in this area, I've got the saturation effect. Holy cow, it's everywhere. How wide of a radius of five? Yeah, it's just that one. That's okay. Um, but the, the, the usage on this is going to be minimal. Do we have... There's nothing really that says how much it's using. Oh, no, there it is. 5 RF per tick to do this. Um, 78 blocks worth of, of uh, saturation. So, at this point, I've got food for when I'm not here, but if I'm wandering around and I just kind of zip around, see, yeah, in the corner, no saturation whatsoever. A little bit closer there saturation and so yay okay food is taken care of um do i really want to go ahead and and get things set up like the cooking for blockheads yes i do but now i don't have to keep worrying about these things a another rubber chicken let's go ahead and uh rubber chicken um the, the, the do I need more? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and breed up a, another pair, see what we can get. Uh, you're a sand chicken. You, you are not useful. I want clay. Go ahead and make me some clay. So you can see how long this takes, and this is why I want the saturation, so that as I'm AFKing, watching something else on the other screen, or walking away doing dishes, coming back a half an hour later, my food has gone down, and these chickens have finally bred a little bit, because oh, it's so very slow. Uh, but uh, this way, um, it, I, I don't die. <laughs> I've, I've had quite a little bit of health, uh, not health, but saturation food haunches go away because the hunger has really kicked up in this module, or this uh, mod pack, which is not bad. I'm, I'm okay with that because now I've got saturation whenever I want it. Oh, uh, y you caught me sitting here uh, getting all saturated and been doing a few things. You go away. Don't want you around here. Uh, anyway, so uh, stuff, stuff and junk and things. My digital miner is gone. I, I put it here, and I've gone back and forth to the Nether a whole bunch of times. Here, you know, let's uh, a whole bunch of times, and my my digital miner is gone. So I'm gonna have to remake that. <sighs> it had all my obsidian in it. Okay, so stuff. Stuff and things and junk. Uh, I've got some gold chickens. Gold chickens I made from yellow and um, iron. So they are breeding up. 798, 798. Uh, let's go ahead and replace this guy. Just breeding them up. And uh, I've got one of them sitting in here just to, you know, get me some gold. Because as you can see, I've got very little and everything else is pretty much maxed out. Yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, because I could sit there and just AFK up there overnight, that maxed out uh, nicely. These things have been doing really well. Uh, and I've decided, there, let's uh, up. Uh, one of the things that I did, uh, no, showed off all this. Uh, one of the things I decided was to, to go ahead and use my jetpack to fly around. I have gone all over the place and I've picked up the gas tank with me because once the, the jetpack is empty, or close to empty, I'd drop down the, the gas tank, I'd put the jetpack in here, it would suck up a bunch more, and I could fly on. I went all over the place looking for the stupid quartz chickens. Nothing. Anywhere. Couldn't find it. And uh, chatting with some of the other people, nobody uh, has yet found any uh, nether quartz chickens. So I'm thinking they're fairly hard to come by. So I'm going to try something else. Yeah, I went all the way up to Bedrock up there, and, and yeah, Bedrock. Um, and this is a lively netherrack. It's slightly purplish, and when you turn it into netherbrick, you get lively netherbrick. Uh, and I, I do kind of like, sort of, uh, this, this hanging down plant stuff, uh, but it's really annoying when, when all you have is too high because you can't see through it very much. So I went ahead and um, dilled, dilled, drilled out this area and 
having the the bottom slabs means nothing spawns in here and oh it looks so nice crisp and clean in here doesn't it yes yes it does uh, this is a mob spawning area here in the nether and it's uh, similar that I've done elsewhere because I, I like the oh hey there's a little guy in there oh let, let's take that out that I think that's one of the enoki mushroom guys hello a white mogus huh okay oh are you staring at me with that side or no that's got to be his eyes there well funky okay uh, we're gonna try something here so uh, what I've got is a 9 by 9 room it's a pretty good uh, space for spawning mobs and I believe it's five and a half tall so one two three four five yeah and a half tall uh, and you can see where the, uh, the the lively netherrack is growing down through the the half slabs up there, which is funky looking. I, I wanted half slabs to stop that, but evidently not if it's a top slab instead of a bottom slab. Anyway, uh, so we've got the mob masher from the mob grinding utilities here. And I've got the looting and the sharpness and the beheading, because if I get... Um, any of the uh, wither skeletons in here it get skulls why not and uh, so so there's that and then over here I've got three mob fans so this one is in the the corner and it is set up with four distance upgrades and so it will blow everybody to this uh, masher here and then these two are three in one two three and likewise one two three in and they also have four distance modifiers but they also have three width which means they will blow anything from over here down as well and they overlap here but that's okay so those guys uh, are all in place uh, did the mushroom guy leave are you did you but you're not supposed to despawn anywhere he said not knowing um, around the back I've got an access way so I can get to, oh there he is can I pick you up? I'm kind of curious about you. Uh, let's pick you up. A hostile mob? Well, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with you later. This back here is an interesting little spot. You notice I've got a gap here because in addition to wanting to get all of the, the goodness from the mobs, and uh, you know, let's go ahead and finish the, the tour. So here's the mob masher. And right down here is a absorption hopper from Mob Grinding Utilities. Items go into this diamond chest and XP goes down to the drum there, which then gets piped up into the singularity tank. And I would, let's see, do I have, no, that's mob filters, which I will do. Uh, mob, the mob grinder, I would have this little XP tap, except it needs obsidian. <laughs> and I lost it because it's in my digital miner that's gone. Because uh, what I would do is have the digital tap digital tap the the drain tap here so I can just right click it it'll give me experience uh, from this this tank but I'm also gonna get so much in here that I can consume so I'm not too worried about it f for right now not that I have a super big need for experience other than this but uh, so what I'm looking at doing is this gathers all the stuff and back here you can just barely see it um, the the block back there that is the drawer controller oh I don't have it pointing which direction is that that's north uh, let's go ahead and say north has items so it will put stuff into the drawer controller if it knows about it and if it doesn't it goes here into the the diamond chest and this is where I can get a few more things this is what I've harvested m manually here so I've got a few things. Ooh, I got a wither's worth of uh, skeletons, uh, the wither scales. Uh, but these are the stuff that will spawn here from my testing in in the the creative world. Yeah, nether quartz. But and these three bones, I figured just in case we get a regular skeleton that spawns, uh, I will go ahead and have a regular bone here. Uh, this is leftover. Uh, I have no idea what may go there. Oh, oh yes. If a ghast happens to spawn and I get uh, gunpowder and the, the, the funky ghast glands and uh, gas tears, those, those can go up in there. But anyway, lots of stuff will, will go into here. Once I have this all filled out and I don't need this anymore, I can break this. And this I will unlock and this will be the overflow, particularly for weapons and armor that I don't care about. Oh, you like that? 
yeah, it's raining in the overworld, so we get this kind of nether storm here in the nether. Anyway, so uh, swords, like this gold sword that uh, a zombie pigman gave me, they will drop into here, which will then get sucked up and just trashed. So everything that's defined stays, everything that's not defined will go into here and then just get vended away, and hopefully that should that should work. Why use your... Oh, because it just sucked it away. <laughs> That's why. And that may be a problem. Because now that it's locked and there's no sword there, we may only have three spots. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, and then these things here for turning off and on uh, the, the light in there to make that spawnable. So, uh, this gap over here... I'm going to use these mob filters from Dark Utilities. So just, and I must say, I love whoever figured out how to make these items stand on top of the crafting stations. I love that. I think that is very, very nice. Okay, so in here, let's go ahead and go doink, dink, doink, dink, 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 dink. There, that's exactly how it sounds. And we will close this. The idea that I have is if a nether quartz chicken spawns in this area then the, the fans will blow it to the bottom and they being passive mobs will fly right through that block into that hit the right piece into this little corridor here where I can come back and, and grab them because I got my little uh, chicken catcher here uh, so that should hopefully get me some oh, this is really distracting uh, anyway that should hopefully get me some chickens which would be mighty mighty handy and why am I looking here um, let's go ahead and click you click you and I need a drop of evil okay so I also need some of this to block things up let's block that oh let's turn that on now let's uh, come around and turn the fans on at least uh, fan on. Uh, fan on. Oh, let's uh, block this. Fan on. And I'll block the top. And then let me hit this with the my one and only drop of evil. Ah, I love that. That is so, so cool. Okay, and so now if I go through and I turn these lights off, it should start chewing things up. Uh, let me go ahead and take my magnetization ring off and this should start spawning things fairly well once the oh yep you can see some hit points being taken right here chop 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 so stuff is being beaten up and let's look in here oh weird spore I've not seen that before okay mushrooms um okay I can see what I'm <sighs> come back here you I can see I'm going to have to put mushrooms there, and let's get this mushrooms here, and and then I can see that uh, we're, we're getting some stuff not that I'm expecting here. Okay, so, uh, why are you, am I getting all of these? These should be going over to here. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, so they're going into here. That's cool. I think maybe I'm only getting these mushroomy guys. I'm not hearing anything from anything else. Maybe because I'm in this fungal forest. Oh, that's got to be it. I'm in the fungal forest biome, and that's why I'm only getting these, these mushroom guys. Well, poop. That's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, it, it's a great structure but it's not getting me anything at all that I want. And I'm not sure if the uh, the chickens will ever spawn in here. Huh. Okay, well, I do not know. Uh, at, at, in the very any case, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. You know, uh, mainly because this is nice to have. And uh, I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to go ahead and take this and move it elsewhere. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get up to the, the, the nether uh, roof because then I can change uh, different biomes fairly easily just 
fly around until I get to a new biome, set this up there, and grind me a bunch of mobs. And I've got the, the, the waystone that can teleport me back and forth, so that's very doable. And man, that is really... I've got little flying red gnats everywhere. <laughs> so distracting. Uh, I was really hoping that's that was going to work, and I, I am going to go ahead and AFK here for a while. Uh, I'm going to be 24 blocks away, just in case the chickens spawn in the same sort of rules as uh, regular passive mobs. You've got to be at least 24 uh, squares away. And I hope they, they spawn in Cursed Earth. We'll find out. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing a little Engineers Forest 3, and not finding any nether chickens. Dang it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.